Welcome, my beloved, to the First Communion in October of the year of our Lord, uh, 2021. And I ask that you would join me uh, in this communion. And uh, if you really want instructions on 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, that's the premise uh, and the uh, liturgy that we use to uh, do our communion, you can tune in to past broadcasts where uh, I have an entire sermon outlined on 1 Corinthians 11 concerning the communion as Paul demonstrated and instructed. But for today's service, we're just going to go straight into the communion service. I've already explained how to utilize the self-contained vows. Now let us go straight into scripture and into practice. I ask if you have not, open your Bibles to the uh, 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter. And we're not going to read the entire 11th chapter. We're going to start with verse 23. Now, this is Paul's direct reception of the Lord's Supper from the Lord himself. So listen to what he says. He said, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, please take your bread, the same night that he was betrayed, <clears throat> He, uh, he took bread, and he had given thanks for the bread. Father, we thank you for this opportunity and this privilege to uh, join together in this communion, as communion means, that we join together as one body in Christ to take this communion based on your instructions through you and through the Apostle Paul, in that, Lord God, we are so grateful. And we do this, Lord, in remembrance of your death till you come, Lord. In remembering your death and we're waiting on you to come back we can't help but remember your resurrection this is the body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ he broke it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you this do in remembrance of me break my blood and And after the same manner, also he took the cup which he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it, do this in remembrance of me. Father, we thank you for the shared blood that you poured out on Calvary, Lord. That you didn't just shed a drop of blood, but you bled out for this entire world that whosoever believe in you will not perish, but have everlasting life. Father, as often as we do this, we do this in remembrance of you. Drink you, my beloved, all of you. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. God had a blessing and understanding of this word, of this celebration, of this sacrifice. God bless you, my love, and until next time, let Coram Dale live before the face.